Hi, Luis. Hi, Rafael. Hi, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? I'm fine. Good. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you guys? How was how was your middle of the week? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Working. So so. And making and making your homework. <laughs> My homework. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. That sounds good. All right. I, I'm a very, very dedicated student. <laughs> Okay, good. All right. How was the homework? Was it easy? Was it difficult? How did you feel with that? Well, it was very useful for me to learn more. And at the end of the of the homework, I think I I got to to do it well, I think. Good. That's the whole idea, right? Yeah. Uh, the more practice you have, the better you're going to get. Uh, at least that's the that's what we hope that you're gonna you're gonna be able to 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 get better at it. Okay, good. All right. How about you, Luis? How was your how was the homework? What what did you think about it? Was it easy? A little, difficult? A little bit complicated, but I like it. Really? Okay. What was the I need that I need that exercise. Oh, sorry. sorry? I need those exercises. <laughs> okay, okay. So they were helpful for you. Yeah. Uh huh. Something that I wanted to ask you was that, what would be the the main difference between uh, use um, get and have, or there is an any difference? between they the meaning is the same okay. but the difference is one the structure right okay. well at least with the active voice with the passive voice yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's the same right it's gonna you can either put um a, you can say have or get and it's the same thing but in the active, it changes the, uh, the structure. And the other difference is that get is a little bit more informal. Okay. Okay. And just a okay. little bit, not, not a big deal, just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Any other questions that you guys have? No, I think. No? Okay. All right. Because, so, uh -huh. okay. yes. <laughs> no, um, I was going to to ask you why certain verb omit um, the, the preposition to after the, the, of the object pronoun. For example, help in that case have, for example, because with, with get we put also to, to do something. Uh, I don't know if you understand me. For example, for example, if I say something like, mm, I had the mechanic, I had the mechanic fix my car, right? And if I use get, I have to say, I, I got the mechanic to fix my car, right? I've got to put the preposition to before the, the verb, right? Um, that is my question. Why right, because that? it's the infinitive. Yeah, and okay, that is the, the, the thing because, for example, I don't know why sometimes when you use make, or you use um, help in uh, the next verb, always they put the base form of the verb. And that's only happened with certain verbs. I don't know why. Or it's something that custom or what? What you want to know, if I'm not mistaken, 
is why with have you don't you use the base form and why with get we use the to infinitive yes yes something like that yeah um there's i i really to be honest i don't i don't think i don't have an answer other than that's the structure that's just yeah. how it is it's it's kind of <laughs> because the same happened when we, when we use the the verb help for example could you help me go there or could you let me go there right there are some exceptions right yeah uh with some verbs for example make let okay um, yeah, we do not use, for example, we never say my mom let me, let me go, if we say, sorry, my mom let me to go yeah. <laughs> to, um, to the party. We never say that, right? Uh -huh. We say my mom let me go. We always use the, uh -huh. the, the, yeah. the verb in the base form. We don't use it to infinitive, uh -huh. right? Um, yeah, so there are some exceptions like yeah, like I said, let, make, help. But um, um, I maybe the only answer I would I would be able to give you here is that get is a very special verb. If you already noticed, get is one of those verbs that it depends on how you yeah, use yeah. it. It's going to mean different things. Mm -hmm. So by itself, the verb uh -huh. have, sorry, the verb get is is an exception, right? But mm -hmm. really, there's no, I don't think there's a science behind it as to why have mm -hmm. uses um, the base form and why get uses the to yeah. infinitive. I don't think there is. It's just, that's just the structure. It's just how you use it. Yeah. It's just, okay. I don't know, whoever invented yeah. English decided, hey, let's do it like this. <laughs> 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 Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Luis, were you going to ask any question? Sorry, teacher. Were you going to ask a question? Uh, no. No? Okay. No. I guess so. All right. Perfect. Okay. All right. Welcome, Alejandra. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine. Thanks for asking. Amy. What about you? Good. 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 Um, yeah, just um, in the middle of the week, um, hoping to be able to finish off the rest of the week. I'm very excited because um, this is the last Saturday that I have to work for this year. <laughs> and then I have a vacation on Saturday. So I'm happy <laughs> being able to. Uh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm. We haven't uh, received. Sorry, Rafael, did you have a question? Uh, yes, yes. Um, we haven't. Well, at least me, uh, I I haven't received um, the documents that I gotta send this time. I don't know what uh, has happened. Oh, okay, okay. You're talking about the documents for for enrolling, uh, for enrolling for the for the next module. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Have have the rest of you? What about Luis and Alejandra? Have you received the documents? Um, no, which, yet. Which documents, teacher? Sure? For the next level. No. No, me too. I... No, I didn't receive anything. Yeah, me too. I didn't receive it now. Nothing okay. about okay. documents. All right. I guess I guess this is this is the last level about the year, right? Yes, it definitely is. May, maybe maybe I don't know. The the the, the, the next week maybe send our, our documents. Did you, how how many weeks uh we are missing, um, we're still missing. It's just this week and next. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. So that's why it's, mm, I don't know. I don't know, maybe, I'm gonna, I'm going to ask about it. Uh, but yeah, you should, uh, we should be submitting the documents uh, very soon, so. As far as I'm concerned, they should be, they should be submitted before the end of the year, 
uh, to be able to start for next year. So I don't know, but I'm, I'm guessing they're, you're going to be getting it the latest at the end of this week. Okay. The latest. Yeah, because you need to have time to be able to um, give it in. Um, yeah. Okay, but don't worry. I will find out. I will find okay. out for you guys um, what, when, when you're, you're supposed to be sending the documents. What? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not very sure, but I will, I will find out. And when we start the next level? I have no idea, Luis. That is a very good question, but I have no idea. <laughs> I wouldn't be able okay. to tell you. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I don't, um, yeah, they haven't told us yet. Um, so we'll have to just wait. Okay, we'll wait. Um, hopefully they give us some idea by the end of the year, by the end of the of next week approximately when we're going to be starting because remember one thing is what we plan for the other thing is what really happens right so because you know sometimes sometimes we're not able to um, start at the time that we want to start because not so much because of us but because some students don't give in the documents on time and that prevents us from opening the courses yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, anyways, all right, guys. So, what we're gonna do first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be checking the answers from the homework. Okay. So, um, let me see. Let me see. Um, tell. Let me know if you can see this, or better said, when you can see this. Okay, you guys, can you see it or you can't see it yet? Yes, I think we can see it now. Okay, perfect. All right, so this is a, these are the, the sentences that I sent you in the WhatsApp group. And the instructions say change the sentence so that they use the structure, have something done or get something done. Okay, so um, to be able to just for just to give you an example, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna give you the first one. Okay, in the first one, you're we have. I have. I washed my hair, and you use the word have. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna say. Um, so. I, and then because washed, is in the simple past, we're gonna be using simple past of have. So we're going to say, I had, and then the structure is going to be the object, right? In this case, the object is my car. Okay, so it's, I had my car, and then we say washed. Okay, I had my heart, my car washed. Um, so that, that would be, um, here we have the the verb the, the subject is I. Here we use um, have, right? And in, in this case, we're using the simple class of have because washed is in simple class. And then we use the object, which is in this case my car, right? And then finally the verb in the past participle, which is washed. Okay. But I can also because it says you can also use get. Another possibility would be, I got, right? The passive get would be got, I got my car washed. Okay. So that's just, just to give you guys an answer, um, the idea of how uh, you have to do this in case you are a little bit confused. I just wanted to show you that, okay? And in this one, it says change the sentence so that they use the structure have something, have some someone do something or get someone to do something. And you're gonna start with I have, right? So in this case, in a second. Okay, there we go. Okay, 
So I'm going to start with I, right? So I'm just going to. So I, and then we're going to say blah, 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 right? So in this case, we're going to say I. Um, so we're going to start with have because um, well, the first one is have here. So I'm going to have I have, sorry, I had because it's in the past, the cleaner clean, the cleaner cleaned, right? So it's the past. So I had, and then the, we have the someone. In this case, it'd be the cleaner. I have the cleaner. <laughs> and then we have the cleaner. And then we use the, the, the simple present, sorry, the, the simple form of the verb or the, the base, or sorry, the base form of the verb. So in this case, it would be clean, clean, right? And then the something, right? Yeah. The something would be the house. Yeah. Clean or clean, the yeah. house. Okay. Is that clear for everybody? Yeah. Okay. Or the other possibility the other possibility would be this. So I, we're going to start with I, right? Because that's the instruction. Those are the instructions. And then I'm going to be using get instead. So I'm going to say I got, because the passive get is got, I got. And then we're going to use a someone, right? Someone from here. So someone is a cleaner. I got the cleaner. 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 And now we're going to use to do, not just do, it's to do. In this case, we're going to say to clean. Yeah. And then we say the, the something. What is the something? It's the house. Okay, so it's say I got the cleaner to clean the house. Okay? Is that clear for everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get you guys to work in pairs. Well, there's going to be one group of, um, of three, and I want you to compare your answers, okay? So, um, teacher? Yeah. What is the difference between cleaner and housekeeper? Um, cleaner is more general, and Housekeeper is more specific. Okay. So a cleaner and a cleaner, anybody who cleans can be is a cleaner, right? Okay. Whereas housekeeper is a specific kind of cleaner. It's a housekeeper is somebody that just like the the name says it, they are in charge of keeping the house clean. So they that's their okay. job. They keep the house clean. But a cleaner like can basically a house a housekeeper is somebody that is regular, right? They regularly go to clean the house or they clean the place, right? Uh, okay. okay. So so maybe the housekeeper maybe goes there every day or every uh, every other day or maybe every week, et cetera, et cetera, okay. right? Okay. Whereas a cleaner. Their job is simply to clean, and they can clean anything, in any place. Oh, okay. okay. So a housekeeper is a person who works in a company, maybe. Who could work in a company? No, not necessarily. Okay. It could be a housekeeper can work independently, but okay. they work, um, they work constantly at a specific house for a okay. family, right? And their job is to keep the house clean, right? So okay. they go once again and again to the same house whereas a cleaner okay. can go one time they clean it and that's it boom done so okay. a cleaner is more general okay right? thanks. okay yeah sounds good yes okay yeah good. good 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 okay so i'm going to get you to work in pairs and i want you to um com 
compare your answers. Okay, so I'll give you about uh, five minutes, five, six minutes to compare your answers. And then we'll come back and see if you guys, um, if you guys have, uh, what, what, what are, the, what are the, the answers that you guys got and see if we got it correct, okay? So let me see, fine, I'll give you guys fine. I'll put it five minutes if you need more, we'll see how much, okay? So, um, okay, all right. Let's go ahead and join your group. The sentences are in the WhatsApp group. Uh, yeah. And what we have to yeah. do? Um, the instructor said change the sentences so they use the structure have something done or get something done. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna see the picture of the screenshot that I take, that I have took. Teacher. Yes. We need your help. Okay. Um. Before anything, uh, let me ask Pamela. Um. Hi. You weren't in class uh, uh, yesterday, were you? No, I I miss I miss the, the class yesterday because my internet connection are really 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 bad and yeah. okay no no they, yeah no, yeah I was just uh, yeah I just wanted to now and were yeah, you able today to I I both I both uh, internet connection from my cell phone. Oh, were you able to see the, the video of the class from yesterday? No, not yet. No? no. I, yeah, I always see the video of the class when I when I need it in the platform. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, and I, I and I was I have been thinking to do this the exercise of the platform. Um, Friday because is the day that I have most free time. I have free time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So yesterday we what we were learning yesterday is how to talk about when somebody um, would do something for us. Okay. Um, but it's when we ask somebody to do something for us as a favor or because we're going to pay them. So, oh, okay. yeah, for, so for example, if, um, it, like I, I was saying that um, if you, if you cut your hair uh, by yourself, right, it's probably not going to be the best idea. So instead of that, you ask a person to cut you, the hair for you. Okay, that person, okay. it can either be that is doing it as a favor or uh, they are going to do it because um, you're going to pay them to do it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so um, the structure is there in, in the, in the, um, 
in the exercise that I sent, the structure is right there where you have to, okay? So Sorry. what you can do right now, I'm, I'm guessing you didn't do the exercise. Yeah, in, in what tab is it? Pardon me? Sorry? You, you didn't do the, I'm, I'm guessing you didn't do the exercises, right? No, I don't. Okay, so what you can do right now, I'll give you a few minutes. Josue is gonna just share his answers with you. And you're gonna see if, you're gonna tell Josue if you're following the structure or not. Let's do it like that, okay? Okay. All right, so Josue, you read, you're gonna read um, to Pamela the sentences that you wrote and Pamela is going to say if you, if you use the correct structure or not. Sounds good? Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give okay. you a few minutes and I'm gonna go and visit the other groups. Okay, thank you. Um, Okay, the first Hi. Hi, teacher. This is a very a very quiet group. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Okay. Hi, I just don't know. Maybe Lisa is not here in this moment, I guess. Lisa, are you there? Lisa, are you there? Lisa, me puede escuchar? Maybe she's having trouble with her microphone. Yeah, maybe. Have you been able to to work with her, or or you haven't been able to, to do anything? Uh, whatever you want. No, but have you been able to work together with Eliza? And I I don't work with Eliza because uh, I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm just trying to 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 read the answer. Hello. Oh, okay. 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 Not a problem. Um, okay. Um, so Elisa, oh, hold on. Just let me, I'm actually going to move. Okay. No problem. No, no, no. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to bring Carlos, Carlos to ah, okay. the group. Okay, 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 he's, no he's problem. Going, yeah, so I'm going to, so if Elisa can't um, open the microphone for whatever reason, maybe Carlos can, oh. Vamos a ver qué pasó con Carlos. He, he, I guess he left. That's weird. Okay, something happened to Carlos. Maybe maybe he had some problems with the connection. Okay. Oh maybe. Oh no, wait a second. Yeah, I think it's hot because according to to my according to my breakout room, Carlos is supposed to be in our room. He has he just hasn't joined. Yeah, maybe because he's not here. Better go to the main room and see if he's there because it's just it says that he hasn't joined. So I'm not, oh, okay. there he is, there he is. Carlos is here now. Okay. Hi, Carlos. Hi, sorry, but I have some problem with my account and I don't know why. Oh, okay, that's okay, no worries. But the important thing is that you're here now, don't worry. Um, right now, we're just checking the answers. We're, we're, we're sharing the answers for the homework together, Carlos. Did you do the, the homework? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. So you can work together and um, share your answers to see if you have them correct, okay? So I'm going to go and help the other groups. 
and I'll leave you guys to work on that. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. See you. Yeah, you're welcome. I got. For example, Clean, when collect arrive. For example, yeah, uh, let's yeah, do those it again. Are, are... The, the first. <laughs> But okay, the, that's not the, the, the class one. possible. Yeah. No, we are using the base form of the verb. But no, okay, it's so not. Do the, no, it's, do the first okay. one again. Do the first one again. Okay, the, the cleaner cleaned I had the, the house. The cleaner, what? I had the cleaner clean the house. Exactly. And right, yeah, that's, it. yeah, clean is the past you, participle. I, I, think, I think you are confused. What is the past participle? Sorry. No, I, mm, for example, for clean, clean. No, exactly, it's clean, but we are not using cleaned. We are using just clean. I'm, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm confused because I'm Okay, I'm going to write it in the it. chat so that you can see it. For example, in the first one, you said, I had, right? I had, uh -huh. who? The cleaner, right? The cleaner, what? Clean the house. Like that. Can you see it, chat? Okay, I will see it now. And you are using the base form of the verb. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. I it's think not you the... are I think you are confused because in the next ones, we are going to use the past participle, but not in this one, because we already have the, the, the past participle, I think. For example, yeah, that's right. in, in, that, in that case. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Hi. I, you have a very interesting... A discussion there. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I, I just I was just listening to see what you guys um would, would say to each other. But it's good. I, I I like that. Um anything else I can help you with? Yes. Just confirm that uh, that's true that we we gotta use the base form of the verb if we are using the uh, hat or have in this case. It's not the past participle, right? right? Uh, the past participle, yes, we're going to be using it with have or have, with um, have or get, but only in the passive. In, yeah, only in the passive. Um, oh, okay. In the, in the active causative, then we use the base form with have. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Any questions? Okay. okay. No. no, it's okay. okay. Perfect. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, Alejandra. Okay, let's, yeah, I'm sure now. Let's um continue. What about if we continue with the passive so that you can see the so that okay. we can see the, the difference? The okay. difference. Okay. If the next part is change the sentences so they use the structure have something done or get something done, right? Okay, so maybe. Uh huh. Go ahead. No, no, no. I don't have idea. <laughs> so go ahead, okay. you. The the first one is I washed my car, right? Yeah, that's and right. And they are asking, and they are asking us to use the verb have, the the verb have in this case. Yeah. So that would be like I had my car, and after wow. would. The, the past me. participle, no, just the no. past participle. I had my car washed. I'm gonna write I it had, again. I had my car washed. I had my car washed. Okay, and the second one it could be I could no, I got uh -huh, my I got hair it. cut. Exactly, I think. Teacher, sorry. Um, yeah. In this case, true. we can we can we can omit the the agent, right? When in in this in this case, at least, in, if we don't want to 
specify. Give, give me the sentence again. For example, um, the second one is I cut my hair. So I got my hair cut, right? Yeah, I got my hair cut. Yeah, that's because fine. we don't have you agent. Don't, you don't have to put the agent, no. Uh, you can say okay. I had okay. my hair cut at the hairdressers or yeah. my mother's house, but yeah. you don't have to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks. It's unnecessary. Okay, thanks. Okay, um, what about the third one? Um, Alejandra. Okay, I had the documents typed. Exactly, exactly, I think is that. <laughs> okay. Um, I... What about the fourth one? Okay, I got the washing machine, machine fixed. Yeah, yeah, I think that is. What and in the... Spanish? How it says? Um, I think I don't. I'm not pretty sure. Maybe the teacher could help us, but I think it's like, um, for example, in the third one, um, mandé los documentos a digitar, maybe, and the fourth one, um, mandé arreglar la 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 máquina de lavar, but I don't know. I'm not pretty sure. What what um what will be teacher? I think that a teacher is not here. Yeah. yeah oh, the... yeah, it's here. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Um, which one is it? What, what number are you on? Um, um, for example, the four. I, I fixed... fixed the washing machine, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the other one, okay, the passive, it will be I got the washing machine fixed. Mm -hmm. But we have, oh, okay, the question is how would be how it will be in Spanish mm. just to have an idea oh, okay um mandar mandar la lavadora okay it lit like okay. remember it doesn't it doesn't go literally with you know yeah. in Spanish don't go exactly yeah up. I know but the idea would be that Okay, Yeah. So the the third one, teacher, the, the third one that is, I had the document types would be in Spanish like, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. And in the active. But of course, but not all of them is mandar, right? Because for example, um, <laughs> when I say mandé a cortar mi pelo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right? Okay. okay. So it, it, it all depends, right? It, yeah. Yeah. But the idea is there. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. And the, and the active people teacher? People say that. I, so I've heard some people say, like, uh, me, me mandé a volar el pelo. Okay. <laughs> right? So I, I, guess, mm -hmm. so I guess it could work. <laughs> okay. So, sorry, Alejandra, what were you saying? <laughs> Okay, now in the active, for example, I had the teacher explain the lesson. And mm -hmm. um, what's the the traduction? The it wouldn't be like like the translation okay. in, Spanish in Spanish, right? Would be, um, yeah. Eh, le pedí a la profesora que uh -huh. eh, explicara. Que explicara la traducción. Uh, right, so there it's always so it's all it's something for kind you. of different, huh? Okay, so remember this, yeah, it's kind of different in Spanish, like in English, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little bit, just a little. <laughs> this, this, okay, this thank you. Is something you cannot literally translate in Spanish, it's just not possible. Mm -mm. So it would. It yeah, I can no see. Idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. But as long okay. as okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah. Right when you say le pedí man le pedí a la profesora que explicara okay. eh, mandé a, a digitar los documentos mm -hmm. um, le eh, um, 
It depends on the context, right? It depends I think. on the context. Oh, hold uh -huh. on. Give me a second. I have somebody that... Because you are not going to say, le mandé a la profesora que explicara de nuevo. Exactly. It sounds like very um, rude, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, it really, it, yeah, exactly. It all depends on what you're saying, right? Um, le pedí, le mandé. But the idea, uh, um, the idea is, um, is either that you ask for a favor or you tell someone that you to do it for you and you will pay for that, right? When you say, le pedí a mi profesora que blah, 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 what you're saying is that it was a favor, right? And if you say, mandé a digitar los documentos, it would be more like you're going to pay for it. Yeah, right? that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, completely. Yeah. Okay, thank you. For example, in the nine, um, the article, no, I had the article, I did it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in Spanish, it could be, um, como mandé a editar el artículo, mm -hmm. algo así. Exactly. Okay. So that's more about, like, that you're actually going to pay someone to do it. That's usually what it means when you say, mandé a hacer tal cosa. It means that you're you're gonna you're paying, you're gonna pay for it, right? Okay. 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 All right, guys. Well, and we're gonna we're gonna go back to the main room and check out the answers. So, I will see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Alejandra. So that will be okay. all I think. Uh Okay, guys. So, uh, what we're going to do now is um, we're going to be checking the answers. Uh, before anything, I wanted to mention a few things uh, that we were talking about with the last group that I was with. One is that there are some structures that are impossible to change, or better so to translate, literally from English to Spanish or from Spanish to English. And that's why I don't, I, I don't, like I tell my students, don't, don't get into the habit of translating, unless that's going to be your job, right? Unless you're, you're going to be a translator or an interpreter, then that's okay. That's a different story. But if you're just learning the language, don't get into the habit of translating everything literally, because there are things you're not going to be able to translate. And this is one of them. This structure here, if you're going to translate it literally from English to Spanish, it makes no sense. Like, really, if you start, if you if you literally sit down and, and go one by one, word by word, and you translate it, it makes absolutely no sense in Spanish. So um, that's one thing. And the other thing is that um, when you say it in Spanish, these ideas are basically, we talked about that it would be when you say, because remember I told you, this structure is used when you ask somebody to do you a favor or you, you tell them to do it and you're gonna be paying them to do it. So um, in Spanish, it would be something like, um, you know, le pedí a fulanito que me hiciera tal cosa, right? So like, for example, le pedí a mi mamá que me, um, que me, I don't know. Que me hiciera eh, un que me hiciera un, un pastel para la fiesta. Okay. So it would be in English. I 
um, you would say, I got my mom to make a, a cake for my party. Okay, I got my mom to make a cake for my party. So le pedí is more like about a favor, right? Usually when you say le pedí a mi mamá, it means more like that you ask her to do you a favor. And then if you say, if you, if you ask somebody to do something and you're going to be paying for it, then you usually say in Spanish, for example, mandé a, for example, mandé a arreglar eh, el techo de mi casa. Okay, so I got my, uh, the, the roof of my house fixed, right? So mandé a arreglar. That means that you're going to be, you ask somebody to do it for you because you can't do it, but you also are going to pay them for it. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. So uh, we have a few minutes left. So in this four minutes, I'm actually going to share the answers. And because of time, because if I don't do it this way, I don't think we're going to finish everything on time. So because of time, I'm just going to get, I'm give you guys the answers. Okay. So instead of um, having everybody give um give me the answers i'm just going to write them down okay and if you have any questions i'll go ahead and answer them okay um so we're going to start with this one right okay. right so this is the one where we're going to be using have something so it's have someone do something okay so that we can use that have someone do something, or you get somebody to do something. Okay. All right. So, um, so let me start here. Okay. So the taxi driver collected us. We can say, I had the, put this in different color. Okay, so I had the taxi driver collect, collect this, or I got the taxi driver to collect. Yes. Okay. So that's number two. Number three would be I had um, I had John. Hold on. Maybe should be got. Oh yes, yes. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. We already used. No problem. Sorry, guys. I just noticed that they already tell us which one we're going to be using. So in that case, I'm going to erase that one and I'll just use this one. Okay, so. Come on, change colors. There you go. All right, so um, I would say I got John to arrive on time. Okay. This one would be I had the mechanic. Mechanic. Fix the brakes. Okay. This one it would be. Um, I had the 
teacher explain the lesson. This will be, I got my husband to look after our children. And um, hopefully, I didn't have to pay, pay my, my husband for that. Yes, that would be a favor. Uh, oh, by the way, um, also, I forgot to mention this. Uh, with these ones, not only can they be asking someone to do a favor or paying them to do it, but it also can mean that you convince somebody to do something for you. Um, so if you say, for in, th in this case, with my husband, it would be more like, it'd be more like I convinced them. Yeah? Okay. All right. And then we have here, I had the waiter bring some water. Teacher. Yeah. And how would it be if I say water? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. It's not the water bringing the water. Sorry, what was that, Rafael? Uh, um, if I say because in Spanish we often say that this. Um, mm -hmm. tuve que mandar arreglar mi teléfono, for example. Uh -huh. It would be correct if I say, I had to have my phone fixed. Yes. Okay. Like this? Yes. Yes. Because remember what I said before, um, that have or get can be in any form. It can be simple present, have or has, simple past. Um, yeah, exactly. Yes, yes, Raphael, the, the sentence you wrote is correct. Um, you uh, can use the simple present of have, simple past, sim, uh, present perfect, past perfect, a present, a present progressive, or present continuous, past continuous, a present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, sim, a simple future, future be going to any form of have. Okay. So in this case, the form of have that we are using is have with a model. And the model is have to. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Does that make sense, Rafael? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So yes, it's possible. In this one, they're making it simple for you, okay? So the sentences here are simple because in all of them, if you notice, all of them are in the simple past. Mm -hmm. Right? So that makes it simple. And it's just simply because I don't want to I don't want to be confusing you. So I just decided to make sure that the 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 verb was in the simple past, right? Okay. Okay. But you can make it any form of of the verb that you want, of have or get. In this case it would be I have I'm sorry, I had the nurse your job. Let me just add the nurse take your temperature. Uh, I got the students to stop sleep sleeping in class. And like this one, this was a this is another one. You're not going to pay the students to not sleep in class. Yeah. You're not going to ask them for a favor. It's more about convincing them or persuading them. Okay. And so I have a question. Yeah. So you use this structure when you want to, um, uh, do you want to ask a favor? even you have to pay it or not. 
and when you want to or when you was a uh, convince of someone mm -hmm. yeah if a favor well if it's a favor you're not gonna, you're not going to pay for it um so it could be basically three reasons you either ask for a favor and a favor a favor is not uh, an obligation and it's just something something that someone does for you because they want to do it for you. And um, you can also be for something that you pay, a service that you pay, okay? Um, or it can be that you convince or persuade someone to do something. Okay, does that answer your question, Pamela? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, this is another one that is a, it's more of a persuasion, okay? You're not gonna pay them, or hopefully you're not gonna pay them to go to bed early. You're not gonna pay the teenagers to go to bed early. And you're not going to ask them for a favor. It's more about you're persuading them to do it, okay? All right, any questions about this part of the exercise? No. No. Oh, teacher. Um, this would be correct, but your fault, I will have to have my computer fixed using the feature 10. By your fault. What do you mean by your fault? Um, by your blame? I don't know. Culpa? Fault. Yeah, culpa. Um, in that case, it would be, um, because of your fault, not by your fault. Okay, because of your fault. Yeah, because of your fault. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's that exercise. Okay. Now let's um, take a look at the other exercise, which is uh, using have something done. Or, Sorry, teacher. So is it correct or is it wrong? The structure? Yeah, the structure is fine. Okay, okay, thanks. Yeah, um, hold on, let me just make sure about that. I, I think it was right. I have to have my computer fixed here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay, um, let's, uh, okay, so let's go to this one. So I had, I cut my hair. Like I said, most people do not cut their hair by themselves. It's not something that we normally do. We normally um, ask someone to do it for us, right? So you say, I, um, I had, or I got my hair cut. Here in this one, it would be, I had, or I got, the documents right, right? Because it's right. Sorry, this should not, I don't know why. Just trying to highlight it. Okay. So, um, so I'm, I'm just using that the, the, the um, slash just to indicate that I can use either one. So if you use had or if you use got, both of them are correct, okay? So this one would be, um, so this one would be, I had, oops. So I had, or I got the washing machine fixed. I had, or I got the grass 
I had or I got the um, bedroom painted. I had or I got the bridge repaired. I had or I got my garden tidy. Tidy. Um, I had or I got the article and it is. And finally, I had where I got the carpets yeah. Okay, so with these ones, it didn't really change very much because most of them were our regular verbs. So with regular verbs, the past participle is the same as the simple past. But you know, if there, if there are other verbs that do change, the ones that are irregular, then in that case, we are going to, we are going to have to um, um, so put, put it in, in the past, in the past, past okay? Does that make sense? Yes. All right, Carlos, don't worry. If you have not problem um, with Zoom, it's okay, don't worry. You can see the class um, online if you have missed any part that it, you, you find that is very important. You can go ahead and, and look at, so don't worry about that, it's okay. But thank you for letting me know. Okay. All right, any questions? No, teacher. Pretty clear, pretty straightforward? Yes. Okay. Okay, guys and girls, we're gonna stop there today. Um, so um, we just have basically one more topic to look at um, in for, for section number four. And that's something we're gonna be looking at tomorrow. Okay, and then we will be able to start there with the other um, section number five next week. Okay, so uh, I really, really need everybody to be here on section four uh, in the, during this week. I hope everybody, if you haven't started, you should be already starting section four. Okay, any questions? No, teacher. Okay, so you're all, we're almost finished with section with section four, right? So uh, that's why I said you you should you should be able to um, be already there. Okay. Okay, guys. Oh, by the way, like I said, if you guys need help, just um, just send me a message through WhatsApp. I will help you as soon as I can. I don't promise that I will be able to answer right away because um, unfortunately, um, you know, during my my work hours, it's very difficult. I only am able to sometimes answer if it's like, if I'm not busy in that moment, but most of the time I'm really, really busy, but I will try to answer as soon as I can. Uh, just the only thing I ask you is, um, along with the picture, send me the exercise. Because um, if you say, okay, it's like section 4.3. Okay, then I know, I know, I can go to section 4.3 and I can go, oh, okay, I see the, the exercise, I see the answer and I can help you. But if you just show me the picture, I have to go trying to guess which exercise it is. And I have to go one by one 
and that will make the time that I answer back a lot longer, okay? So just, just um, asking you that if you can help me out with that, okay? Okay. Okay. That'll be all for, not, for today, guys. Um, great to see you today and see, hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you, Thank you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. You're welcome, Alejandra.